Thank you for joining me for yoga today. So we're gonna do a slow and seated routine. You'll need your strap, and there'll be a couple challenging poses towards the end. So be prepared to just kind of play your way through, do what you can, listen to your body. Just to kind of make the shape. It'll work the same muscles. Anyways, let's get you back in your chair. Find your seat, find the back and pull your shoulders back. Find that nice tall space. Take a great big deep breath. <laughs> a great big deep breath in and tuck the chin. And just find center. Check and see if your hips are in there. And then take a great big giant inhale. Reach for the sky. Nice and long. Bring the palms together at the top. And on that exhale, bring the hands down through center line. And let them land in your lap. Let the eyes close. Just take a moment and land. Let go of the rest of the day for just a moment. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Find the breath. Just watch it. Feel it rise and fall. Catch the next exhale and make it just a little bit longer. slows down, just slow it down, making it deeper and longer. Take the exhale out a little bit farther again. Just letting go of any tension as the whole day falls away. where the mind goes. Just two minutes of stillness. See what happens in there. Bring it back to the breath if it wanders off. Slowly and gently, with the eyes still closed, take the chin towards the ceiling, looking up. Eyes are closed, but the chin is long, we're stretching out the front of the body. Notice how that constricts a little bit in the neck, and the breath has a little bit harder time. Bring it in. Now the next exhale, take the chin down towards the chest, bring the shoulders back, don't let it round. Shoulders down, chin down. Stretching out the upper back. And then take the chin again to the ceiling. Feel that stretch. Maybe it goes a little deeper this time, a little higher. Notice where the mind goes when you go slow. Last time, take it up, chin to the ceiling. the shoulders are back and down. The spine is long. And then come back to center. And take one ear over to its same side shoulder. Just drop it over till you feel a little bit of stretch on the opposite side. Stretch them too. You'll get quite a 
good enough work. And come back to center. And take the opposite ear to the opposite shoulder. Careful of the neck. Look up at the place where the ceiling meets the wall. And again, where's your mind going? shoulders not hiking up. Sometimes it likes to come along. It's a gentle passive stretch. No work. No effort. But just let it stretch. A little bit longer on this last time. Then come back down. Or back to center. And drop it off to the other side gently. Find that stretch in the side of the neck. chin from one shoulder to the other shoulder, nice and slow, as if you could look behind with the shoulders stay level. And then bring it over to the other side. And just be gentle. Tension the arms, you've gone too far. Your whole body's connected, it'll tell you what you're doing. Take it to the other side. Looking behind. And come back to center. Excellent. Just let it go, make any movements that make it feel better. here. Take the arms up towards the ceiling. And push it away. Come on back down. Bring it all the way around. One big circle. And then grab one hand. Point the fingers up at the ceiling. And take the others. And pull it back. And just add a little bit of tension. Maybe spread the fingers. Stretching out the flexors and the sensors of the arm. But this works all the way back into the shoulder. So bring it out. Pull those fingers back a little bit. Not so much that they hurt, but that the whole arm is working. You'll feel it. And just let it stretch. See what's going on in your back and your shoulders moving forward. And then take the other one. We're just going to roll it over. And we're going to pull the other one in the opposite direction. So now the flexors are stretching. Stretch, same thing. One more time, we're just going to roll it over and then we have to switch the hands up a little bit. So one more time, pulling them back. Fingers come back towards you. A little push out there, a little more action. action. And then roll it down. And pull that one. And stretch. when you go slow and the mind gets frantic. And then it slows down too. So let that hand go. Just flex and extend the fingers. Open them up a little bit. And let's take it back. Changing fingers. So the hand that was up, the opposite hand that you started on. How was that? <laughs> Pull those fingers back. Push out through the palm. Roll them back. You'll notice one side has a little more act, little more space than the other. Absolutely normal. And then roll it over. Now the other.
other side is getting stretched down. Careful of your fingers, careful of the joints. If there's any arthritis or any issues there, be gentle on it. Don't pull it. Never want to go towards pain when you're stretching. There you go, let it down. Unwind those arms, just shake them out, big noodles. And sweep them forward again. Interlace the fingers, push them gently, roll the shoulders up, and then down and back, let them go. All right, so we're gonna reach the hands forward. Moving down into the shoulders, we're opening that shoulder, so take those arms back and look up at the ceiling like we did in the beginning. Feel those wrists we just worked out, push them back, they're pushing through the palms. Looking up at the ceiling, whole arm is active. And then bring the palms together and bring the chin down to the chest. So we've been up here, we've done all these movements. Spread the fingers wide. Pull the shoulder blades as tight together as I can and then bend the wrists and look up. And just feel the stretch. Just enjoy the space opening across the heart. Bring it in, tuck the chin down. Open it back up. This time bring the heart forward a lot. We're adding that cat-cow movement on. Looking up at the ceiling, the heart is forward. And then bring it back and tuck the chin and round to the back. Waking up the spine, working down the body. Looking up, arms go back, shoulders go wide. <laughs> bring them down. Tuck the chin and round the back. And up. And bring it down. Round the back, tuck the chin. Come back to neutral with your hands still together. Bring the hands together, palm prayer position, but push them in together. A little isometric work. Bring the elbows forward and the back wide. Push it in. Just hold it, so we're just pushing. We got the fingers in stretch. Maybe add a little finger stretch here and there. Just rocking them side to side. And then open it out. Kind of roll them open and let them go. Let those go. Scooch a little forward in the chair. Let's get those legs stretched out. We're gonna bring it up, grab it in. A little bit of motion working up the hip. Big circles. We're gonna get to some hip work here in a minute. So rolling. And set that one down. Bring the other one in. Squish it in as far as it'll go. You can point the feet, point the toes, give it a good stretch. And now circle that hip. Set it down, bring it forward. All right, walk the feet forward a little bit. So they're nice and straight and long. So their toes are pointing down at the floor, legs are long. They're a little bit of a forward fold, so maybe spread them out a little bit so you don't slide off the chair. And kind of walk the hands down the legs, keeping the bottom on the chair for as long as you can. And then slide down. Come into a forward fold, bring the chest down towards the knees. I'll see how far it'll go. It's always different every day, so give it a while. Give it a minute. Just a second to let that back unwind and stretch. And then walk the hands back up the legs. We're gonna lean all the way back, so we're on the edge of the chair to make the legs long. We're gonna lean back, put the hands back on the chair. Hands are back on the chair, feet were long. And we're gonna lift those legs up a little bit, just a little bit off the floor. 
See how it feels, see what happens with the abs. And then slowly bring the legs up, we're going towards a boat. If you usually do it on the floor, lift those legs up. Maybe they come up beyond 90 degrees. If you lean back a little bit, bring them up, see where they'll go. Great for the whole legs. And then bring them in and set them down. We're gonna try it one more time. We're just playing. See what you can do, what feels good. So you can walk the legs along. Maybe bring them up. Bring the knees up. Sometimes it's a little easier to bring it up. Maybe you want to play with straightening. That's up to you. But find a place that works. A little bit of abs, a little bit of balance. If you're feeling really crazy, you can let go. See if you can balance right there. And come in. Set it down. Let it go. Okay. Let's get you back just a tad. Grab your strap. Let's get the rest of the legs worked out. So bring it up, grab your leg, or your strap, and bring that first leg up. You choose whichever one feels good this morning. So right here, we've already been. We're gonna slide that leg out, so we just extended that. We're just kind of building on what we've already done. So taking your strap might have some fun handles on it, which I highly recommend if you've got any issues in the joints, or to just make it a little easier. You can slide your feet in there, it's got little loops, but give it a minute, let the hamstring relax. Take it out wide, pull the shoulders back, and then bring it up a tad. And wherever it goes is perfect. Just a little bit of stretch is what we're looking for. It's a non-competitive activity. So bring it up, see where it goes. See if that knee wants to come to the nose, you don't know. Very <laughs> push it up. See how far it'll come. And if you let it relax a little bit in its stretch, it'll come a little bit further. But the goal is to keep this leg straight. Maybe lift the kneecap, helps to push it down. But you want the knee straight. So even if it's here and you just got the knee straight, it's perfect. That is a hamstring stretch. If you've got a little extra space in there, you can come up a little bit more. its favorite side, just taking it long, take it over, and again, same thing, just let it hang, but you kind of want the body square, so it's opening the hip, or the abduction, so let it feel it on the inside of your leg, get in the hamstring, bring it down if your hamstring's not, or your leg's not straight, and then bring it up, and play with it, how much further up can it go, how much further out can it go, what else is going on in that leg? before the knee bends? It's just an inquiry, just a question. Where does it want to go? All right, bring it in, slide it on across, and let's let the whole leg go. In the twist. So here we are. Bring the opposite arm across. Same side arm goes over. Look behind you for the first twist of the day. Take the eyes with you, see how much further you can look. Good twist. Make sure the spine is long and tall. And swing it back over. Let's open this out. Bring it in for the figure four, a little pigeon stretch. Make sure both hips are on the chair. Ankles on the knee. Keep that opposite foot. This foot wants to be flexed. Takes the pressure off your knee. So bring it in. Lean it on over as best you can. Should feel it in the back side here, right in the middle of your glute. And wherever is comfortable, find that spot where you can do it. And then come on back up and bring that knee with you. Give it a hug. Roll the feet. Bring it in. Lots of space in there now. We've loosened everything up. Set that knee down and just slosh them side to side. Perfect. Take that strap to the other side now. Slide your foot in there. Bring 
it in nice and deep. Give it a good hug. Just let it be where it is and then begin to straighten it. Notice what's different on this side. One side is always tighter than the other. So get it in space. Find the place where the kneecap can lift and the hand legs can go long. And then bring it up a little further. And then just let it be. Shoulders are back. We're not rounding into it. Bring it back. Lift it up. And maybe it goes a little higher. Find the place where you start to feel the stretch. And it's different for everybody. Just bring it up. Each leg is different. Roll the shoulders back. This one's got a little more space than the other one. And then let's bring it down. Sit that nice and tall. Take it out wide. Again, you should feel a stretch on the inside. Just take it out. Bring it up or out a little bit more. it arm across. Here's that second twist. Looking around behind you. See the eyes and see if you can go just a little bit further. And coming forward, unwinding that. Bring the knee up. Ankle to the opposite knee. And that figure four. Check and make sure your hips are nice and level. You don't want to be cranking it. Back will be all wonky. Sitting up nice and tall. Those are technical terms. Now bring it in and set it down. Leaning it across that knee. And if that's uncomfortable and you can't reach that spot, you can just bring it across into the twist. And you've got the same, same action. You've got a little more space. Same thing. Sitting it down. Enjoy that pigeon. first. So we're taking the arms a little bit more than shoulder distance. So we're kind of wide. And take it out so the little tension in it. Keeping your shoulders, at, your arms at shoulder height. We're going to find a twist. Take it over to the twist. A little isometric work here. So you're in the twist and now pull against each other in that twist. And notice what goes on in your back. Kind of a tricky move. And then come back to center, letting go of the tension. Take it out over to the other side and pull the arms apart. And you're in the twist and you've got some work going on there. Looking behind. And bring it back forward. Let that go. Keeping the strap in one hand, I'm going to drop it down behind you. So reach behind with your palm folding back. And reach around and grab the strap on the bottom and the hand's still on the top. So that elbow points to the ceiling as best as it can. Now if your elbow's here, you want to pull more across. But if your elbow's tall, pull up and down. You're going to pull down. But be very careful on those shoulders. Make sure they're happy. Like I said, you just want to work in the angle that's going to feel good. So if we're working here, you're getting a little work on the lats. Take it up. If you're here, we're pulling down. We're getting it more out of the triceps. It doesn't matter, there's no better. It's just both stretching, both knees stretching. Take it down. Find that place. Again, if you're working on a diagonal, just to work it up, that's good too. Find that space. 
check in with your body. All right, now pull, you know, lengthen that upper arm and shorten the back one. So we're going towards the ceiling so that we get a good stretch on the bottom arm. It's bringing its way up the back. Reaching up, pull that back, up, back arm up. And then bring it down, elbow goes towards the ceiling. And you can move the strap as long and far apart as you can, just to keep it comfortable. Reach it up, pull it down. And one more time, take it up. And bring it down, let that arm go, noodle it out, relax it. Okay, same thing on the other side. So we're taking it up and over. Elbow down behind. So find the place that works for your shoulders today. Maybe it's coming down on a diagonal. Maybe it's going up. There's no wrong. Just be gentle. So take it up. And just pull down. And then pull up. down and up. Notice what feels different now. One arm is stretched. One arm is working the stretch. Pull down. Point that elbow to the ceiling if it's going there. And then pull up. And down. Drop the strap, set it down. Reach the arms up, let's just extend them, get this blood flow going back. Reach for the ceiling, look up at the sky, find a little back bend if your back is good, if there's no stenosis in there, no disc issues. Look up and then come out long, stretching the back and the arms at the same time. We're reaching out, coming down towards the floor, letting it go, and there's your first forward fold. Let the back relax. Look down, tuck the chin. A little extra stretch for the back. Comes all the way up out of the hips. Goes all the way up to the neck, top of the head. And slowly and gently come on back up. Find your seat. Loop back. Just rock the legs side to side. Know what's going on in your hips. Notice, roll the shoulders up and around. And feel into the shoulders. Is everything okay? Does it need anything else? Take it across for a little twist. What's going on in the spine? Taking a little inventory. Does it feel better than when we started? Feel like you need, to just need more. Take the time to do more. And then take the chin up to the ceiling. How it feels, and you might even go a little bit further. Now that we stretch the back and the neck, and find a smile. Notice how that you can feel it in your chin, or yeah, your neck. Take the chin to the chin to the chest. Look down. Shoulders are back, right back where we started. And then take the chin to the ceiling again. Just notice there's more ease this time. Set her back to neutral, drop it off to its favorite shoulder. Drop the shoulder down, maybe drop the arm, and get a little bit more out of that uh, neck today. You know, it's a little tenser than I thought. If you don't find that stretch, move the arm back and forth, you'll find it, you roll across it. And then come back to center. Roll it over to the other side. Maybe push down, find the stretch. Chin to one side, looking behind. And come back to the other side. Drop the shoulder. Feel the stretch. And just 
make big circles with your chin. Unwind all of it. Get those big circles. And then go in the opposite direction. Notice any cracking or popping. Just creating space. All right, scoot your back in the chair. Stay strapped down. Find that comfortable space. Take a moment of gratitude here at the end. Reach for the ceiling. Inhale, bring the hands together at the top. Bring them down through the heart center. Allow, just let the eyes close. Let the shoulders go back and down. Come back to the breath. Nice, long, deep breaths. Slow it back down. people that bring the joy to your life. Feel a smile. Just touch your life. Just passing through. Just be grateful. And then make the circle even bigger. Think about your pets, the little things that just make you.